Hello! In this tutorial, we'll discuss the sphenoid bone. We'll be using the Primal Picture software, which is available on all main platforms. This software has both a 3D and AR mode, and today we'll be looking at the sphenoid bone in AR, and then we'll have a quick look at the 3D mode. So this is also an introduction on how to use the app. So on your device, you're going to look for the app and then open it. To enter the AR mode, go to Settings, the spoked wheel, right here, then select the desired spatial position and then turn on, turn on the AR mode. You will see an orange bubble. Point the camera at a suitable clear spot at eye level or below the table. Keep in mind you may need to hold the tablet for a few minutes. So find a comfortable position in which you can also physically rotate around the projective structure and hold the tablet. Once you find a position, press on the orange bubble. We will isolate the sphenoid by selecting it. It should turn colored as so. Rotate around by swiping with one finger or zooming in out with two fingers. You have the option of selecting multiple structures. You can ghost them. And bring them back. The sphenoid bone is an unpaired bone which has a butterfly shape and contributes to the middle cranial fossa, lateral part of the skull, and parts of the orbit. You can rotate around the model to get a better view. Then, on the left top corner, press on the T icon for text. This is where you have built-in information about every structure. To, quick, to quickly isolate the sphenoid, I will tap here under Associated Media. Then you can tap on it again and press inspect. This way you will only see the sphenoid. By pressing on each blue colored word from the text section, pins or other bones will appear on the screen to indicate where these landmarks are. Tap under the associated media bone to remove the pins and then inspect again. The sphenoid has articulations with 12 other bones. Of these, 4 are paired and 4 unpaired. These are the vomer, the ethmoid, the frontal, occipital, and the paired ones, palatine, parietal, zygomatic, and temporal. You can see here how the ethmoid connects the sphenoid. In some people, the, sphenor the sphenoid articulates with the maxillae as well. However, we will not include these in our learning today. We will only consider the palatine bones. Next, there are four main parts of the sphenoid bone.
the body the greater wings and the lesser wings this is the body here we have the greater wings and the lesser wings is most centrally positioned anteriorly it contributes to the nasal cavity laterally it builds the medial wall of the optic canal superiorly the body forms the sala turcica, the hypophysial fossa, and the dorsum sali. The hypophysial fossa is the deepest part of the sala turcica, where the pituitary gland is located. The lesser wing arises from the anterior aspect of the sphenoid body. It separates the anterior cranial fossa from the middle cranial fossa. It also forms the lateral border of the optic canal, through which the optic nerve and ophthalmic artery travel to reach the eye. The medial border of the optic canal is formed by the sphenoid body. There is a slit-like gap between the lesser and greater wings. This is called the superior orbital fissure. Numerous structures pass through here to reach the bony orbit. The superior ophthalmic vein, the ophthalmic nerve and its branches, the abducens nerve, oculomotor and trochlear nerve. These nerves and vessels supply the eye. The greater wing extends from the sphenoid body in a lateral, superior and posterior direction. It contributes to the facial skeleton. There are three foramina located in the greater wing of the sphenoid. The foramen rotundum, which carries the maxillary nerve. The foramen ovale, underneath it, for the mandibular nerve. And foramen spinosum, for the middle meningeal branch of the mandibular nerve and the middle meningeal vessels. The last part of the sphenoid are the pterygoid processes. These are extensions of the basal surface of the sphenoid body. A hamulus, which is a hook-shaped projection extends bilaterally from each medial pterygoid plate. The pterygoid plates serve as an attachment for muscles of mastication, which are the lateral and medial pterygoid muscles.
will now exit the AR mode by turning it off from the settings icon and we will have a look at the 3D mode which works in exactly the same way so for the sphenoid we will tap on it examine or tap on it again and inspect it. We will go to the text box where we can read or tap on certain features. We can also add layers such as brain, more bones, nerves or muscles.